That should do it. Do what? I, I, I'm done. I got our entire trip mapped out. Mapped out on what? On a map. Oh, is that what that is? Yes. That's weird. Why don't you just use an app on your phone? Oh, this is way more reliable. You don't have to worry about losing your signal or the power running out like you do on your phone. Yeah. Hold on. Plus, this is way easier to use. Sure about that? Yeah, there's, there's a trick to it. Why don't I help you? Yep. Help me, please. Okay. You know what? You can use both hands. Thank you. All right. So, no. We're not. Spread, spread out. Come towards me. No, no. I mean, hold the map. Hold the other. Here, I'll get it. Hold one end of the map. Okay. I'll come towards you. You come towards. No, the end. The end. Oh, I think I ripped something. Like an accordion. You know how like an accordion works? Yeah. No, that's a that's an albatross. Ah! Uh -huh. Like a paper fan. All right. Here, just. Get this. Hold on, I got I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yep, yep, Roll almost it. there. Hey. You ripped it. Okay, that'll make it easier. Map trick. Map trick. All right, forget it. All right, yeah, now. Yeah. It's much easier. Hey, I'm John. I'm Brandon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the So and So Show. show. Hey, can I ask you a question, John? You just did. So ask another one. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, do you like surprises? Yeah. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? I am hiding. Why? Because <laughs> when you ask a question like that, it usually means something's about to happen to me. Like like, like I get a pie in the face, or, or a unicorn comes out of that door and chases me around no, the desk. No, 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 no pies, no unicorns. I was wondering if you like surprise gifts. Is that gonna explode in my face when I open it? No, I just, I just thought it would be something that you would like. Okay. Go on, open it. There's no explosion. <sighs> Boom! Oh, hey, hey. Just kidding. Okay. No explosions. It's just a present. A neck pillow? Yeah, you got that uh -oh. long flight to Liechtenstein coming up, so yeah. I thought it might uh, come in handy. Well, thank you. Uh, you can go right to sleep on your flight. Oh, um. That'd be fun. Well, I've decided not to go. What? Why? You were so excited. Well, I know. It's just I, 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 I don't want to fly. You don't. Oh man, I didn't know that you were afraid of flying. No, no, I not know that? Uh, exactly. I can deal with the flying part. Oh, then what? Well, it's it's just the you know the the landing. Yeah. Landing. Well, it's not even so much the landing. It's the it's the boom boom when you land. It really scares me, the bump. Oh man, I'm so sorry that you're dealing with that. I know you were looking forward to that trip. Yeah, Liechtenstein. Wait, wait, on wait, my wait, 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 wait. What? what if I helped you get over your fear? Uh, well, what are you talking about, how? Like, we could play a game to help you face your fears of the landing bump, but we'll do it in the safety of your basement. Oh, well, I guess it couldn't hurt. It's time to play Rough Landing. During this game, you and I will be the air traffic control operators, trying to get as many of our planes safely landed on the runway. Now, Liechtenstein Airport is in the mountains, so our runway is on the other side of the mountains on that table over there. That's very realistic. Yeah. Now, if a plane hits the mountain, it doesn't count. If a plane lands on the table but slides off, it doesn't count. The planes have to safely land and come to a stop on the table. You got it? I think so. Okay, we'll take turns going back and forth, and whoever lands the most planes wins. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna help me at all. All right, here we go, come on. Okay. All right. 
You wanna go first? Sure, why not? All right, Here we go. go. Oh boy. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. First try. Oh, that's all right. Oh! No, that's okay, that's okay. You can do it, you can do it. I, can, I believe in you. What if I put a little oomph into it? Mm. Nope. Maybe not that far. Oh no. All right. So uh, you're doing great. How, how are you feeling so far? Uh, you know, I'm not sure this is really helping me. Okay, great, great, come here. Now, in the, in the mountains of Liechtenstein, there can also be crazy winds, so oh. we're gonna add some wind turbulence to our approach pattern and, and see what that does. Okay, I'm pretty sure I know what that's gonna do. What? No, nothing. All right, why don't you go first? Why not? Yeah. Whoa, well, that makes sense. Oh, okay, okay. You gotta fight the wind. Use the wind. Fight the wind. <laughs> oh no, uh, not that much. There you go. Oh, whoa. Oh. No, that went towards the wind. Yeah, it did. I don't understand. Oh, it almost went through the propeller. You're okay, you're okay. I'm gonna go above the wind. Good, I like that strategy. Nope, I don't. Okay, you know what, they, they say sometimes that they have hailstorms in the mountains, so now along with the wind, we have to navigate falling hail from the sky. No, no, we don't have to do that. Perfect. Oh, okay. Whoa. Hey, I got another one. Oh, I threw two. Oh! Hey, we did it, we did it, I got how do you feel? Are you, are you still afraid of landing? Pretty sure it's worse now. Thank you very much. Oh. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys. I'm sorry to hear you have a fear of the landing bump. I tried to help. You made it worse. I made it worse. You know, fear and being afraid of something is nothing to be ashamed of. Fear is a natural feeling. The thing that we have to work on is not letting that fear rule our life and keep us from doing what we wanna do. But the landing bump is real. It is, but I have a story that might help. Oh, and I'm gonna need your help to tell it. No, no problem. problem. All right, it's time for Human Head Puppet Theater. <laughs> Last time we talked about Saul, who was also known as Paul. He was going to Damascus to arrest people who believed in Jesus. When Jesus himself appeared to Saul in a bright light, he told Saul to go to Damascus where he would be told what to do next. When Saul opened his eyes, he couldn't see anything. He didn't eat or drink for three days. And that is where our story begins. In Damascus, there was a man named Ananias. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful. And the Lord came to him in a vision. I'm having a vision. The Lord told Ananias to go to a house and ask for a man named Saul. Saul would be expecting him, but Ananias didn't take that too well. Wait, 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 wait. You want me to, to go to this man who, who's throwing your followers in jail? You want me to go see that man? That's exactly what the Lord wanted Ananias to do. Wonderful, I just wanted to make sure I heard you right. The Lord also told Ananias that he wanted him to help Saul see again. What? Why, why don't I just call him brother and go country line dancing with him? Uh, I don't know about the line dancing part, but Ananias did go to the house where Saul was and placed his hands on Saul. Are your hands on me? I can't feel them. Uh, not quite. Oh, okay, okay, just, <clears throat> I'll lean toward, okay, that's close <sighs> enough, that's, yeah. Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on the road as you were coming here, has sent me so that you may see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. <gasps> right away, something like scales fell from Saul's eyes. Oh, oh, ow, oh. Hmm? I can see! Then he got up and was baptized. I baptize you, brother. <laughs> uh, 
Thank you. Saul was now a baptized follower of Jesus. He spent several days in Damascus preaching in synagogues and teaching that Jesus was the Son of God. This, of course, blew the minds of Jewish leaders. They couldn't believe how someone who used to arrest followers of Jesus was now preaching about Jesus. So they had a meeting and they planned to have Saul killed. All those in favor of killing Saul, raise your hand. The hands have it! But other Jesus followers found out about it and helped Saul escape. They lowered him in a basket through a hole in the city wall. All right, down a little bit. Are we? <laughs> they got him safely out of Damascus and into Jerusalem. But once again, the Jesus followers there were afraid of Saul. They didn't want anything to do with him. All except one believer named Barnabas. He took Saul to the apostles and stood up for him. Listen, apostles, I know that Saul here has been a scary, scary man. But I've had a change of heart. He's done terrible, terrible things. I feel really bad. And I understand why all of you would be afraid of him. Yeah. I do. He did yeah. horrendous things. Yeah. I mean, appalling, yeah. dreadful, atrocious, shocking. Okay, things. I think they get the point. Yeah. But the Lord himself appeared to Saul. Mm -hmm. I have seen Saul preach in Jesus' name without fear. He's a changed man, and the Lord will use him greatly. After listening to Barnabas, the apostles accepted Saul, and Saul went on to preach and teach throughout Jerusalem. Because of Paul's, Ananias's, and Barnabas' faith and courage, the new church throughout Judea, Galilee, and Samaria enjoyed a time of peace and continued to grow with the help of God's Holy Spirit. Wow! Well, after listening to that, the landing bump doesn't sound as scary. You know, a fear of flying is real. And it's okay if it makes you feel a little afraid. Oh, 100%. But like you said, I can't let a fear of something keep me from doing something I really want to do. I'm going to Liechtenstein, baby! Yeah! <laughs> All right. I think my work here is done. Until next time. Well, Brandon, I guess it's about that time. Yep, it's time to... Reveal, reveal the question! question. <laughs> when have you faced a fear. Well, we've just been talking about one fear I've faced, the landing bump, mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, I I'm also afraid of tests, you know, like at school. But I've always wondered, am I afraid of tests because I'm terrible at them, or I am I terrible at tests because I'm afraid of them? But yeah. either way, I have to take them. So before the test, I say a little prayer, and my faith in Jesus helps me face that fear. Wow, that's deep. Yeah. I was gonna say bears. I haven't faced it yet, but I, I need to, to face my fear of bears. Oh, oh. Like by hiking in the woods? Or anywhere. I mean, I wouldn't want to face a bear in my apartment either. No, I guess not. Talk about it together. When have you faced a fear? Yeah, and we'll see you next week for a brand new show. Why would a bear be in your apartment? Yeah, no good reason, I can tell you that. That's right. I mean, maybe he's, you know, door-to-door -door salesman. What would a door-to-door -door bear salesman be selling? Rugs. John, do you like surprises? Absolutely! Surprise! Wow, it tastes like lemon! John, do you like surprise gifts? <laughs> Who doesn't? Surprise! That was good. <laughs> do you like surprises? Yeah, I do. Surprise! Oh, yeah! Bet you can't catch me, unicorn! Bet you can't catch me! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> unicorn! No! 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 <laughs> Some surprises! <laughs> <laughs>